Hello! Welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. This time, I want to share my experiment using AI to help importing data from images. In this experiment, I tried to import images of purchase orders to Odoo. Although it's for purchase orders, the same approach can be used for importing other types of data, such as sales orders or invoices. By using AI, the process is very straightforward. We only have to ask AI to create structured data from an image, and then we create the purchase order from it. For this experiment, I created a simple API server for the AI using Hugging Face Transformers and Fast API. Although there are several AI models that can perform multimodal inference, unfortunately only one worked the way I wanted. The model is internvl 2 2b from OpenGV Lab. Please find the links for the frameworks and the AI model in the video description. Now let's jump into the codes. The first thing is to create an AI inference server. Since this server only provides one function, the code is very straightforward. As shown here, it only has two paths, one for the root path and one for the AI inference. For the inferences, I took the codes directly from the AI model's developer example codes and modify it a little bit so I can run it in this server. On Odoo's side, I created a new module named VizBot. The main codes for this experiment are in a wizard form. As mentioned before, there are two parts of for this experiment. The first part is to ask AI to create structured data. I created specific prompt for the AI to generate the necessary data to create a purchase order. This prompt is then sent to AI inference server along with the purchase order image. The second part is to create purchase order record from the generated structured data. Now let's test it. First, we start the AI inference server. Then on Odoo's side, we create a new database and install purchase and VizBot module. For this test, I created three purchase orders with different formats.
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss my experiments and tutorials.